Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Proknevsky here. And in today's daily tip, tip number 63, we're going to go over how to convert values like 1000, 2000, and so on. How do we convert that into just a number and then K? Like 2000 would be 2K, 20,000 would be 20K, and so on. How do we convert that using expressions in After Effects? All right, so here's what we're going to create in this video. So for this example, I have a simple composition. I have this text layer, and this text layer has a slider. So this slider, whatever value we type in here, you're going to see it visually in our composition. So if I type 9, you see it in there. If I type 99, you'll see it right there. If I add one more 9, 999, you'll still see it in our composition. Now, if I go over to thousands, and if I type 9,999, watch what happens. So now it goes to 9K. And if I keep going here, if I add one more, now we're going to have 99K. And let's do one more again. So now we have 999K. So let me show you how to set this up using expressions in After Effects. All right, so we're going to start fresh. We have a new composition here, and it has the exact same elements. We have this ukramedia.com text. We have this background. However, my text doesn't have a slider. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to search for a slider. Okay, so I'm going to drag that right on top of my ukramedia text. And I'm going to select it, press enter, and let's rename this to number. Okay, so we're almost there. We're going to go to ukramedia.com and then source text property inside of it. And then I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch to create an expression for this source text property. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up with just a random variable. I'm going to say, let's name it num, let's do slider. Okay, num slider. So it's a totally made up word, doesn't exist anywhere. So I just created it. And now, it means nothing. However, I'm going to give it some value. I'm going to say num slider, you're going to be, and then I'm going to pick up to this slider value. So from now on, if I refer to num slider, really I'm referring to this value right here. So I hope that makes sense. So I can go down here and just type num slider, and it's going to give me that value. So I can go to, let's type something like 1000, and there you have it. Okay, so let's keep going. So let's use some basic math. So if we have 1,000 and we want to convert it, or I guess to only have one, like anytime we type 1,000, I want to keep one, or we type 2,000, I want to keep two, how do we do that with basic math? Pretty simple. All we have to do, just say divide by 1,000. When I click away, you can see that now it went to one. And if I increase this to two, it's going to give me two. So we're almost there, right? In fact, I'm going to take this path and I'm going to assign a variable to it. I'm just going to say n, you're going to be this path. Okay. Now let's keep going. However, right now in the perfect world, if everything was, you know, if if it was like that to where it's only 1,000, only 2,000, then it would work well. However, if you introduce any other numbers to it, let's say 1,555, then you would end up like this. So it wouldn't work out, right? However, we can round it up since we have a decimal, we can get rid of these decimals. And to do that, we're going to use a method called, let's do math round. That's one of the methods you can do. And basically what it does, it rounds it up. So if I type something like n inside of these parentheses, it's going to take this n value, right? Which is this right here. And then it's going to round it up. So now it's going to go to two. Okay. So if I have 455, it's going to go to 1. Now, that might be something you you want, for, but in this example, I want it to always round downwards. And to do that, I'm going to use a method called floor. So I'm going to, I'm going to replace this round for floor. And basically, it's going to, once it hits 1,000, it's going to stay 1,000 until it hits 2,000. So when I click away, it, it doesn't matter if I type 1,900, it's still going to stay at one. But as soon as I go to 2000, it's going to go to two. Now, how do we add K to it? Pretty easy. All I have to say, just go to the end of this method here and say plus, and we're going to do a string and add a string called K. Here you have it. So, however, if we go back to 999, we have this. So this is where we introduce if else statement. So let's keep going with this. I'm going to go over here and let's type the following. I'm going to say if, and then in my parentheses, I'm going to create a condition. If number slider, in other words, if this value right here is less than 1000, then I want for it to be just num 
slider. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so if it's less than 1,000, I wanted to just take this value, whatever that value is. However, if it's over 1,000, I'm going to say else, I wanted to do this. Now, here's an important thing to point out. When, when you deal with if else statements, if you just have one statement like I do here, then you're okay here. You know, you don't need to add anything else. However, when you have something like two statements, you have to use code block. So you have to use square brackets or curly brackets, I'm sorry. And then you just do, you can do it anywhere. You can do it in here and there. So I'm just going to add it right there. I'm going to do curly brackets, open curly bracket. And then I'm going to go to the end here and do close curly bracket because it can only run one statement. And when you add things in a code block, it runs it together as one code. So I hope that makes sense. So now when I click away, you can see everything's working well. So if I type nine, it gives me nine. If I type 99, it gives me 99. If I type 999, it gives me that. Now when we go into thousands, if I type 9,999, it gives me that. If I add another nine, and let's do one more. All right, well, this is the end of this daily tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure to hit that like button and also share this video. I would also love it if you would subscribe to this channel. You can make sure to hit that bell button as you subscribe. And again, I'm going to Adobe Max this year. I'm super excited about that. And if you are going, I would love to see you. So definitely hit me up. And if you want to, you can sign up for one of the sessions that I'm doing. I'm doing three sessions and each session I'm doing them twice. So six sessions altogether. I am super excited about this. By the way, we do have an online community that you can join. It's totally free. And we have a lot of creators that are way up there or way down there or in between. But the cool thing about it is it's just we all work well together. We learn from each other. We're all passionate about learning, but also teaching others. So I highly recommend this group. You should join it at ukramedia.com slash community. And if you want to learn more about expressions, I do have a course on expressions at ukramedia.com slash expressions. You should definitely check it out. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.